What's going on guys, Steve Blake here, and today is the first episode of Did You Know, featuring the Air Jordan 1. We're going to run through five facts about the Jordan 1. Let's get started. Did you know the original Jordan 1 cost just $65? I know it's hard to believe what some are now some of the most sought after colorways, the Royals, the Breads in today's time, only retailed for $65 and oftentimes went on sale below that price. Now, the most recent remastered Chicago Jordan 1 is retailing for $160, and this is definitely one Jordan 1 fact we still wish were true. Bonus fact, despite being $65, Jordan brand earned Nike $135 million in its first year. Did you know Tinker Hatfield did not design the Jordan 1? Despite being the second most recognizable face behind Jordan brand, aside from Michael himself, Nike designer Peter Moore was actually the person who made history with the first Jordan Wings and Ball logo and was also the designer of the Jordan 1 model. Did you know Michael Jordan reacted to what most people now call the bread or black and red colorway of the Jordan 1 by saying, I can't wear that shoe. Those are the devil colors. Michael would still end up wearing the sneaker in his career and in doing so turn the colorway into one of the most iconic ever. Did you know the Jordan 1 was favored by many pro skaters? With the release of the original Jordan 1, skateboarders had a shoe they could turn to with a little bit more protection and padding under their feet. It's no accident that Nike Dunk High SB closely resembles the Jordan 1, and that Nike chose the Jordan 1 as the signature sneaker for the most recent Nike SB and Jordan crossover collaboration. Did you know that while Jordan released the band colorway of the Jordan 1, there is some dispute over if the black and red Jordan 1 was actually the sneaker banned by the NBA? According to researchers, the sneaker may have actually been the Nike Airship, being the first sneaker the NBA banned by Nike, a sneaker which has also fallen into obscurity mostly because it has yet to be released from the Nike vault. That's all we have today, but if you enjoyed this episode of 5 Facts and Did You Know, please hit the thumbs up button, and remember you can look in the description for a link to help you find some of the Jordans we talked about in today's video. T-Blake signing out. Peace, guys.